graduation rates of white players and the graduation uh, rates of African American players? You know, I, I haven't looked at that. I think that, you know, one thing, the NCAA statistics have shown, research has shown, is, is that the higher the scores when you enter college, the higher you are, uh, the, the, the greater chance you have to graduate. All right? And so with each, every couple of years the NCAA, we raise the, the floor in terms of uh, requirements to be eligible to receive a scholarship, to be el eligible to participate uh, within the NCAA. Now, the danger in doing that, though, is this is a huge segment of kids that are not going to get the opportunity to receive a scholarship, that are not going to get the opportunity to go to college uh, because we're now raising the floor. Kids that aren't as prepared, but if given the opportunity and given the support, they would have a chance to, to get a college degree, they would have a chance to get an education. There's a large chunk of them that now, if we continue this trend to, to, to gradually raise the floor, raise the floor, there's a large segment that are not going to get that opportunity. So you don't think, though, that teams uh, who have bad or, or very high uh, rates of dropouts should necessarily be held accountable on the court? You think it's a no. school-wide thing? I, I think that each individual institution, each individual president, needs to look at themselves and see what they are doing. Uh, I, I, I am not saying that it's not our responsibility. I'm not saying that I don't care about uh, uh, the academic progress, the, academic, uh, the graduation rates. I don't care about I, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is there's so many different factors that go into play. You can pick up a piece of paper and look at the statistics and look at a number and make all these determinations without looking at, hey, school X is not available to provide summer school for their student athletes, where school Y is. School X is not available to provide academic support, academic assistance, tutors, just because of the financial uh, uh, burdens, where school Y is. There's so many other factors that go into that number. Yes, there are, as, as the Secretary said, there are a handful of schools out there that don't care. There are a handful of schools out there that are just trying to win games. But I think for the most part, across the board, uh, the coaches, the institutions are trying to ensure that their student athletes are on a consistent basis progressing towards a degree. Coach, I need a one-word answer. Duke or Butler? <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Duke. Thank you so much. Uh, Coach Thompson, and uh, good luck next year with your team. We hope to see you move a little higher in March Madness. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Next up.